it's Penny and the Professor. Here's Penny. Hey Penny. Oh, you're wearing your swimsuit this time. Remember last time when you wore your cheerleading outfit to deep dive time? That was a crazy day. That was exclamation point day. I'm sure you guys remember all the excitement and everything. Well, it looks like you got your cute swimsuit on. That looks great. So we're going to do a deep dive, guys. And I want to talk to you guys about these kinds of words. Do you guys remember these kinds of words? Who remembers what kind of words they are? Like, what are they called? Anybody remember? What do you think, Penny? What are those kinds of words called? That's right, sensory words or adjectives. And the really cool thing about sensory words or adjectives is that they tell how something smells or how something tastes. I think we could even do it with the sense of touch and tell how something feels when we touch it, right? So let's try it, let's practice a few. Let's do this. I just picked up some things from around my house, right? So I've got this pillow. It's like actually a squishable. <laughs> it's my, my squishable I sleep with actually. So it's pretty squishy. So I think I could say the squishable feels squishy. Or since I use it as a pillow, I could say the pillow feels squishy. <sighs> Oh, we're still on camera. I thought it was nap time already. Sorry about that. So the pillow feels squishy. That's my, that's my sensory word. Squishy. Love it. How about this plate? Should be in the dishwasher probably. Had my lunch on it. But since it's here, how does this plate feel? What's a sensory word or an adjective we could use to describe this plate? What do you think, Penny? Want to feel it? Tell me what you think. Ooh, good one. Penny says it's cold. It actually feels cold. It does. My house is not cold, but this plate feels cold. I wonder if it's because it's made of glass. Also hard. Yeah, it feels hard. It's glass. It feels hard and cold. So that's my sensory words for that. Let's try this basket. So I have a basket here. It's kind of big. It's this big basket here. How does this feel? What do you think? Yeah, rough. This feels rough and pokey. Like it's kind of pokey and rough. So things can feel rough, they can feel pokey, they can feel soft, they can feel squishy, they can feel hard, they can feel cold, they can feel lots of different ways, right? So in our discussion today, I want you guys to use the sentence frame and you're not gonna write it, you're just gonna use this sentence to speak in a full sentence because remember, speaking in full sentences helps people understand what we're trying to say. So let's think about this. I want you to pick something from around your house. It can be a toy. It can be something from the kitchen if it's okay with your mom or dad. It can be something from your bedroom. It could be something from your living room, something from your kitchen, anywhere in your house. Pick something that's okay with mom and dad if you use. And in the discussion, I want you to describe to me how it feels, just like we did with the squishable and the plate and the basket. So use the sentence frame, the something feels some way. Like the squishable feels squishy. The toy feels you tell me in the discussion. We can't wait to hear it. Thanks for taking this deep dive into sensory words with us. And we will see you guys next time. Have a great day. Bye.